Hello, buddy. This is the bear here. We're back. It's something not so local, but still Orlando. You guys asked for us to go to the melting pot and try their vegan things, so here we are. Yeah, luckily, there's one right here behind Universal, barely even a few miles away, so we we'll a nice dinner after the parks. Here we go. I'm so excited. I used to love this restaurant when I was a vegetarian, and I did not know that a vegan could eat here. Let's go dip some stuff. Be sure to fondue. You heard the girl. <laughs> I love that this mule glass is shaped like the melting pot, like pot. Handle and everything. It tastes like your traditional mule. It's quite delicious. I would give it um, four out of five whiskeys. <laughs> if they sold one of these pots, I would definitely take this home and drink out of it with no shame. It's like a drink jacuzzi almost. Oh, that's a refreshing meal. meal. That's probably one of the probably top tier ones I've had that hasn't made me like way too much ginger. It's like perfectly balanced amount of ginger. Slightly sweet. Give that three and a half out of five plus. This whiskey business has all the whiskeys in it. <laughs> I would actually give this one also four out of five whiskeys. It's quite delicious. It's very sweet. They all blend together very well. Way better than I expected this to be. I think the princess is trying to kill me because it was her idea for me to get this whiskey business to get the reference. There's like, what, four different types of whiskeys in here and then Coke, which sort of made me think it's like a whiskey-based Long Island. I have things like this. It is uh, a slow sipper. You can tell that it's strong. The Coca Cola actually works really well. I'm kind of surprised. Three to five plus. My favorite thing in the world <laughs> is dipping Granny Smith apples in cheese. I know it's weird, but it's really good. The broth that they use really flavors the diet cheese so it's not so like diaplasticky. It's really delicious. I love the rice with apple. It's very good. My favorite thing is the breads, but I suppose I'll do a bread for you guys. It's just seasoned so beautifully. It's really hard to like stop eating this and share it with Bear because I really don't want to. It's so good. I love this cheese. This cheese is amazing. I would give the cheese a four and a half out of five dias. As we unload the napkin here, I'm excited. Actually, four dia for the first time, probably never. I was expecting to have to eat a bowl of lactate crushed up in order to eat this meal. No, I don't have to. I am going to go straight for this delicious looking cauliflower here. I've never known dye to be that tasty and creamy, but that actually works. It's like a well deep seasoned cheese, even though like just like a dye of cheddar. It worked really well. Consistency is really good. I'm thinking like with the right amount of broth and then the right amount of like seasonings, they put garlic and mustard powder in it. It turns out quite well. Let's try. I'm actually going to steal one of the princess's apples. Because apples and cheese is actually a childhood snack in line, not like melted cheese. That's good. It's cheese, I'm giving it a solid 
4 out of 5 plus. I have talked a lot of trash about Naya, and I'm almost sorry. Not completely sorry, but almost sorry. This my time makes me miss Trader Sam's. It's a little pineapple-y, but it's not too bad. I'm just really digging this glass a lot. This is a good drink. I will give it 3 out of 5 umbrellas. The drink is a face. The nose and people's eyes. And the smell is strong. Put mine out this umbrella. I'm not an umbrella drink kind of guy, but in a circumstance, it's good. It's really good. Ooh, here's the rum. Rum is definitely not gone. Oh, yeah, I've been in my drink. Four to five plus. Impressive. There was a vegan pretzel in here that was quite amazing. So like the pretzel with the, the diet cheese was really good, but I'm gonna take you on this celery ride. So I'm gonna go get mo cheese, cause why not mo cheese, mo love. Celery and cheese is not a bad combination, I'm not gonna lie pretty good. I guess I'm doing carrot. I don't know why I'm doing carrot. Carrot's a hard one. Make sure you get it in there. They slip. I've got the squirrels and the roast oil. The shy bug gets an extra. Carrots and cheese is probably the, the weirdest one for me, but still good. So I have a veganized version of the California salad. Of course I got California. Ooh. The dressing is quite sweet. I love the greens and the like whole crunchies. I definitely want to try it with this garlic and wine seasoning. So I'm just gonna do like a blue. And let's see if it elevates the flavor. Mmm. Those are actually a little bit flavor. I'm gonna say with all the seasonings, it's probably like four out of five greens with the seasonings. It's like a five out of five greens. I am here for these greens. So, a Californian eating a California salad. And then you hand it to the Floridian and I guess I'm supposed to enjoy this. Dressing with light, greens are fresh. It's an average salad, I think. Two and a half out of five flaws. Let's pour some of this with the seasoning on it. I feel a lot better. And the three and a half out of five plus. It's solid salad. Nice in between after the cheese. I got the, the strawberry fields salad with the pecans, the strawberry pecan feta on top of a little bed of spinach. It looks beautiful. It's a little level petal plate. A little bit of everything in here. The word of the pecans and the strawberries are too sweet. But the dressing and the feta bounces it out. I like that. It's a solid three and a half out of five plus. And then with some of this garlic wine too. Kind of hesitant on this. I'm going to leave it with a little corner here. I don't know about the garlic on my strawberries. Not with the garlic and wine. Not with this particular salad. The salad's fine up front of style. With the seasoning, it's a three out of five flaws. But this is still a really good salad. I like it. I need a whole plate of this. This is a cherry blossom, which I thought about getting, but I just didn't think about like a cherry blossom and tequila being right. Like I want it to be like sake or something. It's very 
very grapefruity. Definitely not my jam. I'll probably give it a two out of five sakura trees. Uh, real men drink pink drinks. Interesting. The it's a grapefruit and tequila and syrup. But it sort of like the tequila matches the bitterness of the grapefruit. So you get the bitterness of grapefruit, but you also get tequila. It's different. I don't hate it though. Three out of five plus. the two on these edges. We have the ginger plum and the teriyaki glaze. So I'll put these closest to you. In the center is going to be a mild yogurt based curry. And then here we have our green goddess, cilantro sriracha and gorgonzola port. As you're preparing your food, just make sure you go from the platter to the pot and then to your plate. You don't want to put any unprepared food directly onto your plates. You also don't want to eat directly off of your fondue forks because they get very hot while they're in the pot cooking your food, okay? Um, for yours, everything is going to cook up between two and four minutes. You're going to have your shrimp, your tuna, your duck, and your teriyaki sirloin. Here you're going to have your artichoke hearts, your vegan pulp heads, asparagus, onions, zucchini, and uh, a mushroom stuffed vegan pasta. Ooh, okay. This is your search and rescue spoon. I would suggest putting all of your stuff in and out of the pot with this spoon. Um, it just makes it to where like, everything doesn't get all like falling apart sure. with your fondue fork, okay? Um, any questions for me? Uh, mm -hmm. no. Okay, have fun with it. I'll be back to make awesome. sure everything's tasting good and I'll bring you some more water, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. chopping my broccoli up because I want to try the different sauces. This is a teriyaki sauce I'm going to put on my broccoli. Mmm. Teriyaki is pretty bomb. It's got a little kick to it too. I would say it's like three out of five sesame seeds. I'm gonna take another piece of this broccoli. It doesn't taste like it's fully cooked, so let me just try it by itself. It's mostly cooked. cooked. It's not like super flavored, but it's decent. I'm gonna try this other sauce here. I forgot what sauce this is. spicy gingery sauce that's pretty delicious kind of like the teriyaki a little bit more but this has got some heat to it I would probably put it like um, a 4 out of 10 on the heat scale I'll give this one like a 2 out of 5 peppers and the broccoli I like broccoli. Probably also two out of five trees. Hmm. 
And then, also this seasoned potato. Not only was that too much potato for one bite, and extremely hot, it's missing some stuff. So like, not only, it needed to cook a little longer, and I think I needed to put some of this on it, so then it would taste better. Seasons pretty deliciously, but not enough. It needs more broth time. I'm okay. It's good. Um, three out of five potatoes. Learn from the princess's mistakes. Don't put boiling hot broth in my mouth because, you know, I don't want to get scalded, at least by the food. A little mushroom cap here. And one of the sauces that you got is vegetarian. This one is a uh, yogurt curry. I'm kind of excited about this one. Very light curry flavor. More yogurt than curry. Mushrooms are good, they don't have the earthy taste. And soak up some of that broth flavor. Not bad. I'll give that three out of five. That's the potato. So at least some of the heat and juices from there. I'm try some of this. Uh, this is a teriyaki? It looks mm -hmm. like teriyaki. Teriyaki on a potato. Mm. Nice, deep, sort of like Asian zing sort of flavor. More saucy than the other. More sweet than tang. Three out of five plus. Nice for the broccoli. We do love our trees around here. It's just a little spicy. It's that sort of like hot and sour color. Oh yeah. Just the heat. The very front of the mouth heat. A three out of ten. It's almost instantaneous. I like the flavor. Three and a half out of five claws. My favorite so far. Over here to my sauces. Get more of this mushroom cap because I'm not turning it down. Good dirt fruit. This also looks like a yogurt based sauce. It smells garlicky. Probably very good for the potatoes. sour cream. Ooh. The funk hits hard. Two out of five plus. This one this is another spicy looking one. Sort of has it like spice shine. Let me see, let's see how it actually is. Oh yeah. Oh my god. kind of spice you got to be planning for. Oh, that's like a, it adds some own spice scale. Back to the throat. I'm already sweating. But it's got kick. And it's hot, but it's still got a ton of flavor. It starts off small, and then it's got firecracker on the back of your mouth. You know me, I like that. Four out of five plus. That's for the last sauce here. Maybe this is the garlic of my dreams. More white than the others. Oh, no. Whew, this one cools my mouth off. Mmm, smooth garlic flavor. <laughs> that was most definitely sour cream based. That one, three and a half out of five plus. Really good. Solid dipping sauces. You like that.
finger. I'm using my hands like a um, savage. Mm. That's an onion that has had all the onion taken out of it. It's just like cream. That is delicious. That and some teriyaki would be absolutely amazing. And then we have this um, artichoke. Artichoke is good. Mm. The heart is just soaked and flavorful with the spicy sauce. That would just set it off. And then we also have a zucchini piece. Soaked in the broth. Amazing. The zucchini, I'm gonna give that four out of five fruits. The onion, I'm gonna give it three out of five layers. Asparagus. Mmm. Almost like melts in your mouth. Cooked all the way through. That is a five out of five trees. Oh, welcome. Stole some of the princess's veggies. These are all part of her main, so we have like some of the artichoke here, and then a big, huge asparagus stuff. I love anything tree shaped, so I'm excited for this. I breathe on the asparagus and it melts. Good flavor, it soaked up all the vegetables before, because it has a deep broth flavor in it. It's super tender. Asparagus, three and a half out of five plus. As for this artichoke, a nice deep color to it. It goes perfectly with that broth and it sort of like balances with that sort of like tanginess that artichoke sort of has. At the same time it's soft and easy to eat, not chewy even like that. And that's some good artichoke. Four or five bowls. Yes. We have an average little zucchini slice. All part of mouth tender. Three out of five bowls. One beautifully cooked through vegetable dumpling. It tastes like the most perfectly piece of al dente pasta. That's probably my favorite thing that I've had so far is that dumpling. That was really delicious. The dumpling, I would rate five out of five dumplings. Then we have like this kefta ball. We should only have Kefta, I would rate like one out of five keptas. The princess dumpling is so cute. I'm actually afraid to eat it. What about her? She loved this dumpling. It touched her heart. And here I'm about to savage it. Non-vegan mouth. What the things we sacrifice for you guys. Mmm. A nice deep savory flavor. The filling is like perfect. The pasta is great. It's like solid in the mouth. I would definitely skip the plate of vegetables and get a whole plate of those to dunk in the broth. That's amazing. Four and a half out of five claws. The benefits of going second is that I don't have to torture myself trying to eat a whole one. It's an interesting flavor. Definitely taste plant based. Definitely think you need more seasoning, maybe with the garlic and wine seasoning. But the broth doesn't feel like enough. I was looking forward to these. It's going to look pretty plate. Give that two out of five plus. Blackberry martini. It's so thick and juicy. It just tastes like juice. This is a very dangerous drink. And I feel like you can't come to the melting pot and not get a martini. It's just like something you do here. It's not a wine, it's a martini. Uh, I would rate it... Three out of five berries. This uh, looks deep and full of magic. And not the rock and roller kind. But it's inviting at the very least. 
Ooh. It tastes like a melted icy. Too syrupy. One and a half out of five claws, not my jam. Now I will say, so we have a little salmon balls here and the shrimp. Let's see how the shrimp cook. I hope I didn't overcook it. Burger Mountain, that's what I love about fondue. If you overcook your food, it's all on you. But it's nice and flavorous, still feel sort of that wine and garlic broth. Goes very well together. Three and a half out of five claws. It's very interesting. As for this sesame, I think it's tuna here. Let's try this. Five years. still maintain some of the flavor. Two and a half of my balls, but I feel that one's on me. So, the last of my meats. Now, the benefit is, and the way that we were told to do it by the server coming in here, is like, if you're going to come in here, the Omni vegetarian, Omni vegan, let the vegetarian, vegan, plant based person put all their stuff in first. Cook all that, take that out, and then do the meats last. That way there's no contamination. And two, you get all the benefits of having your more seasoned broth with vegetables and then you get to put your meat in. So it's, a good, it's, a double, it's a double win. Double win. Mm, nice and tender. Fork tender. Mmm. It's like omnivore fireworks in your mouth. With the perfect amount of tenderness, the broth, the, the broth and wine can really taste in the meat. It comes through really nicely. As for the second kind here, the sesame seeds a little bit. Mmm. It's a more sweet meat, but it kind of hits the spot after everything else that you have. When you look at everything on its own, it looks like very small portions, but trust me, you will start to get full by the time that your entree comes around, and we still have dessert to do. Mm. Four to five plus for both. We're becoming a lot more melting pot, I'm afraid. This margarita was one I did not want to get, but I did expect Bear to get. Okay, very classic margarita eat, a little strong. Still pretty delicious. Not 100% my jam, because I'm not feeling tequila today, but if I was, this would be a win. I would say this is a three out of five bottles of tequila. I suppose if we're going to go for tequila, might as well go all in. A freshly picked margarita, ton of juice, tequila. You really can't go wrong. Like, when was the last time we had a margarita that messed up? Maybe ever. Mm. Fresh juice makes a huge difference. It's nice and bright. It goes well with tequila. So you can still taste it, it's not sharp, and the juice doesn't feel like a bunch of just like syrup in a glass. I like that. Four to five minutes. We at about room temperature right now, okay. but I am going to turn on the cooktop for you to heat it up a little bit. You're more than welcome to dip in right away, or you can wait. It's totally personal okay. preference. We have a nice, beautiful, melty, vegan chocolate. So, naturally, I'm going to have my favorite fruit with said vegan chocolate, the strawberry. Chocolate's still not warm, but it's dark. And delicious. The strawberry, that is perfect. This is the best dessert chocolate. I would rate it a um, four out of five chocolate bars. Blackberries, <laughs> a tribute to my uh, favorite smoked turkey. It is well doused in the scent of chocolate. Um, oh, I never considered blackberries and chocolate before. 
that works. I hear real well. Like a dull sweetness with the dark chocolate. It sort of takes out that bite. And dark chocolate tastes like regular dark chocolate to me. I don't really miss anything. Hmm. We're gonna have it at five plus. This is dessert I would do. So, that's been Melted Pot. It was such an interesting experience, way better than I expected it to be. I thought it was gonna be mostly like me sitting here watching him eat all the good food and me just wishing that I could partake. But it was so much better than that. Great stuff. I love this location. It's not as nice as the one that I've been to in Boise, but it's nice. I was definitely impressed with the service. Uh, I definitely was surprised by how much the princess was going to be able to eat. This Great. being one of her favorite restaurants before it, she went, it was. when she was still vegetarian, it's nice that now she can come and enjoy it like a normal person. I definitely think that the addition of their vegan options is a great benefit to their menu. Agreed. And it's back on vegan date night, I think. Oh Melted yeah, Pot. totally. Like if you want some like nice romantic place that's super close to the parks, go to the melting pot. And, and to be real, the dinner came out to be about the same price as normal Disney dinner. Yeah. So if you're near the parks, Probably I think it's a worth little it. less actually. Yeah. But I wanna know what you guys think. When was the last time you guys even considered coming to Melting Pot? Have you ever had fondue? Let us know in the comments. Is there any place local around Orlando you'd like us to go? That's going to be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. Yeah, that and the honking. All the honking.